Hello everyone! Welcome to another episode of your pre-recorded video presentation. This is Jivey Palar Palar Corpio giving you the best learning online. So come on, grab your pen and paper, join me as we start. Now we are given a task to report the module 3, the theories and principles in the use and design of technology-driven learning lessons. There are three topics to cover. Number one is the Dale's Cone of Experience, with equal attention given to the both of conventional technology and the innovative and emerging technology for teaching. Number two is the TPAC, Technology, Pedagogy, and the Content Knowledge. Number three is the Assure Model, Analyze Learners, State Methods, Media and Materials, Utilize Media and Materials, Require Learner Participation, evaluate and reuse. Now, the topic that I'm going to discuss is about Edgar Dale's Cone of Experience. Before that, I have a quote for you. Education is a lifelong process which we get through learning either intentional and unintentional from experiences. And experience leads to learning and learning in turn leads to education. Good day everyone! Now I will be presenting how Edgar Dale's cone of experience in the 11 stages or strata are used in the teaching learning process. Now I will be discussing only the 5 stages of Edgar Dale's cone of experience, which are the verbal symbols, visual symbols, recordings, radio and still picture, motion pictures, educational television, and the rest will be reported or discussed by my group mates. All right, now before we talk about Edgar Dale's cone of experience, let me tell you a little background about Edgar Dale. Now, Edgar Dale was a U.S. educationist who developed the world-famous cone of experience. Now, he was a professor of education at a university that made several contributions to audio and visual instruction, including a methodology for analyzing the content of motion pictures. Now, he was an expert in audiovisual education. He created the model in his 1946 book entitled Audiovisual Methods in Teaching that he named the cone of experience to discuss various modalities or channels of imparting information. Now let's ask this. Now you guys are probably wondering what is Dale's cone of experience? Well, I'm glad you asked. It is a model that incorporates several theories related to instructional design and learning processes. Now, it is composed of 11 stages starting from the bottom, which is the concrete experience, then, then it becomes more and more abstract as it goes along the way as it reaches the peak of the cone. Now, the experiences in each stage can be mixed and interrelated that fosters more meaningful learning. Now, we should try to go deeper in each of the components. Since educational technology basically revolves all around the cone of experience, okay? Now, by going one by one, starting from the concrete to abstract, we will further understand more about the different components of the cone that will help us grasping the real meaning of educational technology. Now, the first Edgar Dale's cone of experience is the verbal symbols. So first, what is verbal symbols? So verbal symbols are only symbolic representations, but they still can be quite powerful and flexible. So as we use language, we are expressing our thoughts and creating our own thoughts, even deciding what is worth thinking about. So verbal symbols show meaning or emotion through writing or spoken words. So yes, you can use this in the classroom practices. Classroom processes or practices. 
In verbal symbols, refers to sending or receiving a message through sounds and languages. Teachers can address one student or the whole classrooms through verbal communication. For example, a teacher may ask a student to stand up, which is a verbal symbol. So digital technology integration, maximizing the use of uh, overhead projector and the chalkboard. So what is a uh, opaque projector? Opaque is a projector using reflected light for projecting an image of an opaque object or matter on an opaque support. So what is chalkboard? So the chalkboard is the teachers use to write something like what they are going to teach you. So next is the visual symbols. Are representations of direct reality which comes in the form of signs and symbols. Example of this include charts, maps, graphs, and diagrams which provides highly abstract experience in connection with the levels of Kono experience in proposed by Edgar Dale. Other examples include drawings, posters, and car cartoons. Next up is visual symbols in classroom practices. The use of visual symbols such as drawings, posters, and cartoons to illustrate or model an experience, idea, or any visual representation in the line with a topic in discussion. Teacher instruction as well as students' activities that's, that use graphs, charts, maps, or diagrams to connect, relate, compare, and contrast concepts, ideas, and information. Next is visual symbols uh, in digital technology integration. Digital software like Microsoft Office or other online resources can be utilized to create visual symbols such as graphs or and flowcharts. Digital equipment such as projectors, laptops, and other electronic devices or even online software serve as platform to deliver or show these visual symbols to learners. The next strata is radio recordings and still pictures. So these strata are visual and auditory devices that can be used by a learner or group of learners that could do enhance and extend learning experience. Also, this provides pictorial and auditory dimension experiences. For visual and auditory dimension, it represents a necessary media that we can experience. Example of this English magazine, listening to old radio broadcasts, and music streaming. Now, in classroom practices, teacher lecture or group discussion are involved by the use of radio recordings for information gathering, story analysis, and listening development. So the use of pictures are also employed to further concept our idea. Other thing is that student activities centered on aiding them and understanding the lesson with recordings, radio, and still pictures provided by the teacher to assess his or her instruction. Next up is the digital technology integration of this strata. The use of digital audio in teaching and learning such as podcast education, pre-recorded audio lectures, and other audio le learning resources like Discord, which we also use in our one of our classes. Next is digital pictures can often provide visual stimulation that we can get from television, social media, or smartphones, or other existing softwares. This assists uh, learners in transferring ideas into more realistic forms. So next, we're going to discuss about motion pictures. Motion pictures is also known as the television level. It conveys messages or information through televisions, documentaries, films, movies, and etc. It includes animations and videos that represent on screen abstraction of real life processes or events. 
Now, motion pictures can be applied in the classroom practices in three ways. So, number one is that it can help eliminate the unnecessary materials and focus upon only selected points or important details. Number two is that teachers can give students uh, the visual moving experience that enables them to be creative in their imagination and hopefully uh, relate it to their personal experiences as well. Now, number three is that students can observe and make evaluation from what is shown to them. So for the digital technology integration of motion pictures, example of that is the use of video sharing platforms such as YouTube or Dailymotion and etc. The next is also the utilization of projectors to project this moving image. For the students to watch the, that is conducive for their learning or that is helpful for them in their study. Next up is the educational television. So what is educational television? It's the use of television programs in the field of distance education. It may be in the form of individual television programs or dedicated specialty channels that is often associated with cable television in the United States as public, educational, and government access. So many children television series are educational ranging from dedicated learning programs to those that they indirectly teach the viewers. Some series are written to have a specific moral behind every episode, so often explained at the end by the cha character that learned the lesson. Classroom processes or practices. So classroom practices when the teacher uses educational television program during class, the relationship is between them and their teacher and their students changes. So educators can set specific goals or activities for students in the small group which allows them to explore their own questions and share their ideas on a given topic with their classmates. So digital technology integration, uh, educators use CV in the classroom to satisfy a variety of objectives, to reinforce and to expand in the content being taught, to respond to a variety of learning styles and to encourage students' motivation to learn. So skin digital technology integration can use of smartphones, television, laptop and computers.